Howdy folks, Tex Grebner here with Tex Grebner and Outdoors. Hope you guys are ready to make it weird because it's time for your Tex Grebner and Outdoors Saturday morning cartoon awesomeness. If you want to support the channel, you can go to TexGrebnerandOutdoors.com, check out the Make It Weird sticker, the Make It Weird shirt, the Life Ain't Like the Pornos, Hunting Ain't Like the TV Show shirt, as well as the Kill With Stick shirt. However, we are not going to be talking about archery in this video, but... If you're a traditional bow hunter and you want to get a discount on your trad life supplies, you can support the channel by going to 3riversarchery.com using the code of TexGrebner in your checkout. It's going to show your support for the channel. I don't actually get a kickback off of it, but I am incredibly grateful for 3 Rivers Archery for sponsoring me. But that gives you guys a discount on your traditional archery supplies by using the code of TexGrebner it'll knock some off your shipping. In this case, we are going to be making it weird because this is a very esoteric topic. This is my Benelli Nova tactical. And this is what I would call a tiger slug. This is a thunderbolt slug from Aria Ballistic Engineering. The reason that I call it a tiger slug is because this is a super hard projectile that is very accurate, 650 grains, 1,600 feet per second muzzle velocity. And so on paper, this slug out of a 12 gauge, or in this case, we're going to call it a 12 bore, this slug out of a 12 bore for modern hunters is the ballistic equivalent to the 1880s 577 Black Powder Express that guys would have been hunting lions and tigers with prior to the advent of the Nitro Express calibers. Now, we're not in the 577 Nitro Express range because everything has a history. There was the 450, Black Powder Express, the 50 or 500 Black Powder Express, and of course the 577 Black Powder Express, and all these cartridges eventually became smokeless powder or cordite cartridges. If you haven't read the Dangerous Game Rifles second edition by Terry Whelan, I highly recommend it because it is a treasure trove of Dangerous Game Rifle knowledge. He is very credible. He is very candid, and it has a fascinating chapter about the rifle before 1898. Because before 1898, when the Nitro Express calibers came onto the scene with gliding metal jackets, controlled expansion, full metal jacket bullets, you pretty much had soft lead and the 577 Black Powder Express, the 450 Black Powder Express and the 500 Black Powder Express, which were pretty much the British versions of, you know, what we would have developed in the Sharps cases over here. Because weapons are purpose built. You have an entirely different and larger, in most cases, suite of animals for Africa and India rather than North America. In the North American westward expansion, the 4570 and the 45120, 4590, and the Big 50, they were perfectly serviceable. But in the case of the British colonial expansion in the post Victorian period in Africa and India, you had some pretty gnarly stuff that you might have to deal with or have to hunt for the pot. And so the bore guns, 12 bore, 8 bore, 10 bore, 4 bore, they could not only shoot shot, but they could also shoot ball slugs, basically. The only problem was not only could you not get muzzle velocity using the black powder, but you were also using soft lead. And so the bore guns eventually transitioned into the black powder expresses and then into the nitro expresses. 
However, I'm betting that if you're watching this video, it's highly likely in America that you have a tactical shotgun. It's going to most likely have some form of good sighting system on it. And that is where the Aria Tiger Slug comes into being. Because unlike the 577 Black Powder Express that this Thunderbolt Slug from Aria is designed to mimic, this is a super hard modern lead. So with modern metallurgy and modern propellants, we basically take the standard 12 gauge combat shotgun and we put it on steroids so it basically becomes the equal of the 577 Black Powder Express that they would have been hunting tigers with in the British Raj before the Nitro Express calibers came onto the scene. Well, I did have one flyer. Mm. Basically, everything else looks pretty darn good, so that flyer might be me. This is my 458 lot. It's a CZ Magnum 550 miles of action. The 458 lot is a Wildcat approximation cartridge try and create a bolt action version of the 450 Nitro Express because people were not very happy with the original 458 Win Mag. That's a controversial topic in itself and I recommend you Terry Whelan's Dangerous Game Rifles if you actually want somebody with a, a super credible opinion on that subject. The reason that I have it here in this video is just to explain stopping power. Because stopping power when it comes to a human attacker, it doesn't really exist. Human beings, we are upright. We are not very thick. Stopping power on a human, kind of irrelevant. However, a four-legged animal will come with its head in line with its pelvis. And so stopping power becomes important. Fast penetration becomes important because assuming that you miss the brain shot, you want a bullet, or in this case, a slug, that is capable of traversing the entire length of the animal's body to be able to break the pelvic girdle. That is what stopping power actually is, in my opinion, is its ability to be able to actually stop a charge. Now, I am not a particularly fluent reader. However, you are going to actually get a passage here, a very short passage here, from Dangerous Game Rifles, the second edition, and a quote from Sir Samuel Baker. A solid Express 577 never fails if directed accurately toward a vital part. Ta-da! I proved it. I can read. So I am very impressed with the level of accuracy that I was getting out of these Aria Thunderbolt slugs. And there's just something super cool to be able to buy ammunition for a firearm that a lot of us already own that is going to upgrade this firearm to be on the level of what they would have been hunting tigers with in India in the 1880s and 1890s. There's something just cool about that. And 
in the case of the Aria Thunderbolts, these are actually hard lead rather than the main downfall of the original bore guns or Paradox guns being soft lead. So I have not done any ballistic testing with this yet because truth be told, I have no idea how I would even go about capturing one of these slugs. But if you're interested in this, you can go to ariaballisticengineering.com and check it out. They also have an Instagram page that they just started up. And I just think that this is super cool. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this week's episode of Texas Grabbing Your Outdoors. It is dangerous to release too much of my awesomeness. Overall, I'm a big fan of the Aria Ballistic Engineering's Tiger Slug with the Thunderbolt projectile. As always, God bless all my sports of America. Join the NRA to protect your rights. Please come my friends over at 3 riversarchercom Thank you very much to those involved in law enforcement and those who serve in the military. Thanks for watching Texas Grabbing Your Outdoors.